Alrighty, and welcome back to Soul Covenant. Right now, we're getting started. Pre-remastering. A phenomenon where all becomes ash, a prelude to the world being rewritten. Eve said this was already confirmed in Old Europe. Ezra getting hacked was the trigger. Part of the metacode analyzed by Eve was leaked. Adam nearly has all the information he needs to overwrite the world. Don't get taken out so easily. Do your job, AI. All the hacked systems are back to normal, according to Eve's report. That's right. You're a system. You're not quite like us. Are you... really? on the side of humanity. Please launch Regal. There is a slight disturbance in the Oracle stream. I believe this is an effect of the pre-remastering. The city is eroding down to ash from the enemy invasion. Please, be careful. It appears you have something to say to me, Captain Tiger. Why am I... If, by chance, this is some kind of bug in my system, wouldn't you be in trouble if you fixed me? To be fair, I believe humanity does not have the option of eliminating you, no matter what problems I may have. I'll always be by your side, until you die anyway. Any other choice you select will lead to immediate ruin. Whether or not I may have a bug, the only thing that can save humankind is the Rian Project. Oof. The captain told me to turn off Ragel. If it does anything weird, we need to physically take it down. What are you talking about? Eve. That thing's a machine, too, after all. Just then, a massive shadow appeared from behind. An enemy attack. The captain called out an old name. Julia. The Holy Mother came back with a surprise attack. I couldn't run away. All this Thanatos hasn't seemed to do me much good yet. Once death loomed close, my biological survival instinct broke down. By then... 
I had become used to the noise of my skull getting crushed into pieces. As I turned into information, a part of my conscience felt something in the Holy Mother. Something in the shape of Captain Julia. A monad inside the Holy Mother took the shape of a human. This thing that looked like Captain Julia spoke out. My name is Adam. Do not believe everything Eve tells you. The true Ark is right here. It embraced me. In the end, everything will melt together as a monad. All will be one. One will be all. Though my body was taken by the Holy Mother, my Reun device was collected safely. Eve checked in several times after the Reun, concerned that Adam made contact. Did the Reun project leak? There was a chance they found something during the hacks. Did you make contact to see if you could destroy his plans? Eve had no reply. Do you not understand, or do you just not want to tell me? Either way, we're gonna take the newbie. Six. The captain pounded on his chest where his heart would be. This old body doesn't have much time left. Okay. Mm. Please launch Regal. Captain Taika, have you resolved your suspicions about my bugs? If you're talking bugs, mine's got to be worse. And you can't fix mine either. Am I correct to compute that as a joke? It is too bad I have never used my laughing feature. I have never had a use for it. Most of the avatars do not laugh much. This means we discard their facial expression data. You're right. I haven't laughed much for a while either. <laughs> that 
Adam himself has been trying to make contact indicates that they are getting ready. The world? No way to met with that. If Adam finds out about the Rian project, the mech may prioritize exterminating the beta types. That's why I'm going to give it everything I've got. All my might as the God Slayer. Hey. <laughs> S rank. Oh, five thousand. Oh, I get red? Wait, did, did I get red? Okay, whatever. When are you going to show your true worth, newbie? None of my stats changed after this most recent re-in. The Thanatos remains dormant, my powers not yet granted. Are you going to keep on making that face when I die? Captain Taiga's body has been disease-ridden from birth. He says he's a defect of the Enhanced Human Initiative. Ironically enough, this defect gives him power. For as many times as I face death, I can exert even more strength. That's the secret of the strongest avatar on record. He has more Thanatos experience with death than anyone else. You have a body that can surpass mine. But if you're going to be like that, can't let myself die. He plans to give me everything he has when the time comes. Even his catchy nickname. You are going to be the next Godslayer. Don't go making that face, Sarah. Avatars cannot avoid the disease. It is the price we pay to have these receptors. Captain Tiger's disease was exceptionally fast. Julia knew she was dying, too. They were in the same battalion. Knowing her, he wasn't surprised that she died defending her subordinate. It's normal to want to leave something behind when the end's in sight. How to prove we once lived. To Captain Julia, her proof was in the soldiers she taught. Did this conversation bring her to us? Enemy shadows appeared ahead. Captain Tiger said they were inseparable, for better or worse. Captain Julia wasn't a bad last opponent for him. Since we go way back, I'll fight you to the depths of hell. So drop dead, Julia. Please launch Regal. The Holy Mother, after surprising us with an attack, retreated to the rear after battle. No. Julia's still nearby. I'm sure of it. The 
Holy Mother is still nearby, what is the basis for your reasoning? Because my receptor or whatever is strong. It's what you call the Oracle thing, right? The Captain's Oracle. We may be going somewhere with this. Thanatos increases your sensitivity to the Medicos. It makes you more responsive to the language of the gods. You angels are all a bunch of fake. I'll always be by your side. Until you die anyway. Huh. Sadness into anger. Loss into vengeance. Fall into the strength to fight. Time to stab Angel and crush. Massive monad response confirmed. Captain Tiger's oracle was correct. Thanatos does push humans to a godlike realm. But doesn't that just mean you've got one foot already on the other side? My God. I'm so confused. Just see what Since we go way back, I'll fight you to the depths of hell. Do you remember that time when we first met? Captain Tiger is thinking about what will happen after his death. Not many humans are capable of that. That is why I wanted to leave you with him. At first, he refused. We never knew the harshness of the You're living proof of Julia's existence, newbie. No matter how much trouble you cause us. We promised each other that we'd pick up each other's bones. Yes, he made a vow. After her death, the captain took you in. <coughs> I'm so happy. You could use my spine. Hang in there. If you can't get it together, I don't know what Julia's gonna say to me on the other side. I've known Captain Taiga for quite some time, so I noticed since you became his subordinate, he began going through slight changes of his own. The men are retreating. We're going after them right away. Julia must still be close. What are those? Da na 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 na. Okay, so I, okay, all right. Just gave me the same thing. I'm not gonna complain about it. Ah, take a little bit of a seat. Okay, so wait. Alright, so now if I do it again, I get purple. I need red. That's what I need. Even allies feared the Godslayer's fight. His Thanatos was turning him into something not quite alive. The Holy Mother, cornered, called out in Captain Julia's voice. The machine spoke of her days alive, her inseparable relationship with Captain Taiga. The captain remained resolute in his pursuit. However, his hand stopped when the mech spoke. I still love you. The captain took a blow, allowing the enemy to escape. As we went after the Holy Mother, Eve informed us that Old US and Old Australia had undergone pre-remastering. Why isn't Tokyo seeing any of the effects? Eve suggested Adam wanted direct contact with Tokyo. 
So he's trying to get your main unit? There's no mistaking it, you've said. And that's perfect. The enemy boss is coming to us. The captain had a fearless smile as he looked at me. So long as there's a will to fight, nothing's over yet. The future of humanity is on you, no one else. Sarah, you're taking over as captain after me. As if he was leaving a will. If the next fight was to be his last, I wanted to know why. Why fight when his end was coming so soon? Dumbass. It's obvious. You think I want to die? Obsessed with living, he resisted until the very end in order to leave something behind. He went on to explain that the very proof that he existed lies in Sarah and me. And you know, Julia, too. He stopped mid-sentence, unable to talk. The captain went on, saying we had nothing to worry about, no matter what happened. Take care of my body, okay? Be sure to grab my bones. Please launch Regal. Captain Taiga's vitals have been at dangerous levels for some time. It is strange that he can even stand up. I just don't say anything about it anymore. Hmm. I will tell you this time. Captain Taiga, your body is basically at its limits. Don't you talk about my limits according to some random data. Time to attack, AI. You are going so you can die? Even though we're basically going out to die, I'm not giving up my life until then. Try updating Regal. Captain! Julia! What is that thing? Security protocol disabled. God damn. Captain, what would you like me to do? Like I said, take over as captain and make sure to help that dumbass. It's a herd of mech angels.
Try updating again. This is it. What they told me would happen. We came here to fight the Holy Mother. Security protocol disabled. One last thing, Yui. Let me tell you why your Thanatos has been silent. Look death squarely in the face again. If you don't turn away, you'll start to feel it. That desperation that dwells inside of you. Take care of my body, okay? Be sure to grab my bones. Oh, shit. Oh, God. You know, at the time, I took an issue with the vote. Oh, we did it. We did it. Oof, okay. Oh my goodness.
Hmm. Looks like I missed my chance to die. The captain was laughing at himself. Suddenly, the earth rumbled as the ceiling caved in, signaling the arrival of new mechs. Their heads resembled that of the Holy Mother. Eve reported that there were now two signatures of the Holy Mother. I see. Julia. She did want kids. It appeared Captain Taiga thought the Holy Mother birthed these mechs. I guess her wish came true. The captain ordered the retreat, and yet, he remained facing forward. You're the future that Julia left for this world. I'm expecting a lot from you. So get out of your shell already. Alright? Newbie? Or... Sensing his intent, Sarah pulled me back by the arm. Her trembling hands told me she didn't want to retreat. Should I say... Noah? You are the next Godslayer. <sighs> After a while, a message came from Eve that sounded more mechanical than usual. Captain Taiga no longer showed a biological response. There was a voice file waiting for us when we got back. His final words were as simple as they come. Looks like I used up my life. What are you gonna do, dumbass? <sighs> you got something to say? Captain Taiga doubted me till the end. It's understandable, in any case. Humanity's chance of surviving is low according to any calculation. There seems to be a malfunctioning system. I will continue with the Rian program. Even if this is some kind of bug. Captain Taiga was just as illogical to fight while standing at death's door. What should we call this bug of logic? If the answer is found, then perhaps Captain Taiga's death won't be in vain. So do hurry. The enemy is closing in. <sighs> but with that, we're going to end the video right there. I hope you enjoyed it. So I hope to see you again next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and that's for the channel. And I'll catch you next one. Peace.